What's going on, y'all? Hope all is well. Another episode of Combos with your CFP Mario Payne in beautiful Mykonos, Greece. So here on a family vacation, here with uh, the lovely wife, uh, with some friends as well, just chopping it up and having a good time. You really can't see the view this way or this way, but you really can't see the view because it's dark outside. Um, but it's just beautiful, man. Uh, very, very beautiful. Just blessed to be able to, to enjoy myself. I talk about the 50, 30, 20 rule all the time, where 50% of what you make should go towards bills, 20% should go towards investing, the other 30% on what's the needs. If you save throughout the year, then you'll be able to go on some vacations without having to dig into your pocket from an emergency expense standpoint or digging into your emergency funds. But we're going to talk about a backdoor Roth IRA today. I had a conversation with some friends as we were you know, drinking adult beverages after a, a great dinner. And uh, it's some misconceptions about backdoor IRA, Roth IRAs. What is a backdoor Roth IRA? Want to have that conversation. But before we start, always like, share, subscribe to our channel as we continue to grow. You know, we appreciate your support. Check out our ETF, Let Be, the first and only black-owned ETF. That's all AI powered on the New York Stock Exchange. Pretty, pretty cool. Then, of course, we also have our investment app, let Bob, L-E-T-B-O-B, -B, and you can check us out in the Google Play Store or in your Apple Store. You know I'm an Apple person. Apple is the wave from a diverse case standpoint. Don't put all your money in Apple. We're looking to Apple, though, because Apple definitely is now a $3 trillion company. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. But in order to buy more shares of Apple and have it grow tax-free, think about doing a backdoor Roth IRA. But first off, we need to find out how much we can actually do in a traditional IRA to do the backdoor Roth IRA. And per the IRS for the year 2023, uh, IRA contribution limits, we can do $6,500 under age 50, and we can do $7,500 for those that are 50 or older. So if I'm 30 years old, I can do up to $6,500 in a traditional IRA. If I'm 52 years old, then I can do $7,500 in a traditional IRA. Now, what is income limits though, right? So you definitely want to talk to your CPA. You want to talk to your certified financial planner and kind of see how much income you can make. Even if you're at the top of the scale, it's MAGI, which is modified adjusted gross income. I'm getting the weeds right now, but just talk to your certified financial planner like myself talk to your CPA to kind of have that conversation, but that's the most you can do. So from a backdoor IRA standpoint, I get that. I could put money in my traditional IRA, but what is a backdoor Roth, Mario? Well, here we go. A backdoor Roth IRA is simply a term to describe a strategy used by high income earners who cannot put money to a Roth IRA because their income is above certain limits. Typically 128000 Again, you want to talk to your CPA or certified financial planner, but before deductions, uh, that's the magic number. Uh, and then you, rather than contribute directly to the Roth, you can contribute to a traditional IRA and then convert it to a Roth. A couple of things to think about, though. However, we cannot put all the money from our traditional IRA and convert it into a Roth IRA or do a backdoor Roth IRA. If I have an old 401k, 100000 Roll it over to my IRA. Now I put in $6,000. That's $106,000 of my IRA. I can't move all that. I can only do the contribution limits. And as we just talked about, the contribution limits is $6,500 if you're under 50 and $7,500. So I can do $6,500 or $7,500 into my back door. But if I do everything into my Roth IRA, Knock, knock, knocking on my door is Uncle Sam. I got some issues. So you want to be very, very careful when you do that. Number two, it is a holding period. So we know with a Roth IRA, we can't just put money in and then take it out. No sir, Bob. It's a five-year holding period. If you do not hold for those five years, then knock, knock, knock on your door is Uncle Sam. But with the Roth conversion, it's like, well, I've had my traditional IRA for more than five years. It doesn't matter. That clock starts all over again. So if I do a backdoor Roth with a traditional IRA I had for years and put it into my 
raw fire right now and I take the money out, knock, knock, knock on my door. So we definitely want to think about that. The whole thought process about it backdoor Roth IRA is pretty cool because instead of me having my money grow tax deferred and pay taxes down the road, then I can now have my money grow tax free. But when I do that conversion, I'm paying taxes. So again, using that $7,500 example, I move that from my traditional to my Roth. Guess what I'm doing? I'm paying taxes. So at a 25% tax bracket, eh, you're paying about $1,500 to $2,000, right? So yeah, I pay $2,000 now. It grows tax-free. Pretty, pretty cool. That's something that you want to take into consideration. But it's not like it is for everybody. If we have tax problems, if it's going to put us to another tax bracket, well, now we go from the 25% tax bracket to the 28% or 33% tax bracket, you might not want to do that. I'm not going to get in the weeds, though. Just want to kind of go over high level what a backdoor Roth IRA is, how you can do it, why some people love the idea of it, why it might not be the biggest bang for your buck, depending on your tax bracket and your situation. But as always, like, share, subscribe to our channel. Information is always good information, especially when it's correct, like it is for your certified financial planner. But all is well. Let's make some painful profits together, y'all. In Greece, peace. Making the money mistakes, make a payment on your bills and you still late. Yeah, pay for profits to help you seek change. Uh, and you just wanna get paid. Yeah, tired of making no money mistakes, make a payment on your bills and you still late. Uh, pay for profits to help you seek change. Yeah, cut the show and just listen. You wanna feel empowered by making money decisions. Residual by the hours can get you a better living. Uh, been check the check, you know, and it could be different. You know.